Hello internet land, I just wanted to show you a little something here with my surveillance system. And when you come up to my domicile, you will see this. And then you're coming up to the door. You will see the domicile contract. What the domicile contract is, is, it shows the terms and conditions of what happened here, the performances that are happening here at this domicile. Meaning, if you want to come to this domicile, if you want to board this vessel, there are terms and conditions that you must follow. The maintenance of the rule one rule equal. The performance of the honor and the grace. If you come to this domicile and you are not in compliance with those terms and conditions, you have broken the domicile contract and that contract is no longer on the table. Then whatever happens, happens. These are things that you, the viewer, can do for yourself and your domicile because you are the authority of your domicile. You are the authority of your vessel. Who's in charge here? Well, I am. I am the commander of my vessel. Quite literally, right now, what you're looking at, this is my vessel. And I'm in command here. Whether you do it in correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, as I have, I've positioned it as a fact, and I've positioned myself as a fact, or if you don't possess that knowledge at this point in time, you can do it in plain, simple English, colloquial English. As long as you can give closure to all your terms and conditions, as long as you can give closure to the words you're using and your meanings, your finite means, not definitions. This definition means no finite contract. Finite means. You give word closure to your contracts and your terms and conditions, then you are in command, you are the authority, knowledge is authority. Of course, keep in mind that in this world, on this earth, there are those entities that have the bigger guns and clubs. And no matter how correct your grammar is, or how correct your volition is, sometimes there are those entities that are with the avoidance of the honor and grace and with the malicious volition and very unfortunate and sad and harmful things happen. The most a person can do and the most that I do is to be as correct as I possibly can using correct grammar, positioning myself as a fact with the correct volition, peaceful and neutral. And that's about all you can do to safeguard your family and yourself. The navigations happen the way they happen and one may only be as correct as they can be with the correct volition and the honor and grace and as long as I know, as long as I have done all I can do in those, in, in, in those uh, venues, then what more? Can anyone ask? So this is supposed to be a message of hope and positivity. That you can position yourself as a fact and you can be as correct as you possibly can be to do what you have to do to protect your family and safeguard yourself, especially in these very turbulent times. And there are ways to do that. And one of the ways is correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, which you can learn by visiting this YouTube channel and studying the videos. Or you can contact me in the confidential at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com uh, where I do offer confidential 60-minute video workshops to those who qualify 
there is an application and vetting process which consists of a 10 to 15 minute video consultation where I can see you, you can see me, and you can ask me whatever you want with regards to the workshops and the grammar and vice versa. Thanks for watching.